I have not shot a video for a while and you like just jump right in there. That's because you haven't shot a video in a while, Doc. And I've been wanting to shoot a video, been trying to talk to you shoot a video and you haven't been shooting a video because you've been running off to Vegas and getting married and stuff. <clears throat> yes. You're right, Bubba. And Cynthia and I did get married exactly two weeks ago. See, that's what I'm talking about. Getting married is more important than shooting videos. I don't even know why a girl like that would marry you anyway. She's marrying down. You, I think I just wanted to shoot a quick video for these people. It's been a little while. And I really don't want to take all this time having an argument with you. Okay, whatever, Doc. Happy New Year. I'll sign out and let you do your thing. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> for those of you who are new to Team Squatch in USA, Cynthia and I are the owners of the group. And by the way, for you newbies, I've been at it for 20 years. I'm that psychologist who ran into Bigfoot up on the mountain above the Oregon Caves um, on July 1st, 2000. Oh, hitting trees, all that kind of stuff. Been doing it differently the last 10 years. Oh. The reason why I'm sending you guys this short video, which may be a little longer because Bubba interrupted, but anyway, no, and then there's other people out there who, you know, have concluded erroneous conclusions like Scott Carpenter and Todd Standing, etc. And um, Les Stroud, good guy, good people. I'm not saying that they're horrible people, I don't like them, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they don't know what they're talking about. I'm just trying to tell you the mystery's been solved. Mission accomplished. If you want to know who the Bigfoot Forest people are, and they refer to themselves as the Jean Nu, then read my book. Or, you know, if you think I'm trying to make money off my book, then just go to my YouTube channel, Team Squatching USA, and watch the four part video series. That's free, so shut up about I'm trying to make money. Watch the videos, but you know, there's a little more in the book than what the videos have to offer. So, if you've gone out of your way to read John Green's books and Krantz's books and Meldrum's books and Moorhead's books and everybody else's books, Bindernagel, and all of them, you know, really don't have an answer, then read my freaking book because my book does have the answers. The mystery has been solved. The mission has been accomplished. I know who they are, where they're from, why they're here. And if you want those answers, then get your hands on my book and read my book. And more importantly, read my book soon because my second book is coming out by the end of April. And that second book isn't gonna make any sense at all unless you read the first book first. So please read my book. So, um, and you know, while you're at it, watch the free four part video series, The Great Reveal by Dr. Johnson. So anyway, I've been saying, and so have others been saying, that read my book, watch my videos, uh, the mystery's been solved, and people ignore it. And they ignore it for one of two reasons. Um, one, because they don't believe that the mystery has been solved and I have the answers, so they don't want to take the time to read the book. They'll read all the other books that don't have the answers, but they don't want to read my book that does have the answers. That's one reason. The other reason is, if they acknowledge that the mystery has been solved and the mission is accomplished, then that means that part of the journey is over. The mission is accomplished, the mystery's been solved, the answers are there. That's a fact. I'm trying to catch all of you up to speed. Some of you are way behind the learning curve, including Ron Moorhead and Scott Nelson and Scott Carpenter and Todd Standing and Les Stroud and on and on Jeff Mildred. They're all behind... Cliff Brockman, Matt Moneymaker. You know, they're all behind the learning curve. The mystery's been solved, mission accomplished. The answers are all there. But they don't want to acknowledge that, you know, I did it, I'm right, because then that means they didn't do it first. And so then you have to ask yourself, who really has the ego problem? Is it me, the guy who solved the mystery with the help of other people, I might add, like if there was no Cynthia Kreitzberg, I wouldn't have done this. If Mike Kincaid wasn't out there constantly with me, I may have given up. If Steve Bachman didn't show up 
with the electromagnetic pulsating device, the exodus would have never have happened. Instead of reading all the Bigfoot books that don't have the answers, grab the one that does. Instead of watching all the videos that don't have the answers, they just have questions, watch the video series, the four-part video series of The Great Reveal that does have the answers. And quit saying I'm the guy with the ego problem. When I'm the guy who just wants to catch you up to speed, I'm the guy that just wants you to know the truth. That's not ego. I'm driven by the passion for truth, that you know the truth, period. So, get your hands on my book, watch my four part video series, get your answers. Mission accomplished, it's resolved. Catch yourself up to speed and stop being way behind the learning curve. And welcome to the group and have a good day.